Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on GOC chemistry series. That is nothing but a general organic chemistry series. This is the lecture, no lecture number 7. In this lecture, we are discussed about uh, like a temporary effects. That is the first one is electromeric effect and uh, inductomeric effect. Now let's uh, let's move on to the like uh, our basic concept of these uh, these effects and that is the electronic effects. So simply electronic effects are uh, so two types based on their polarization and polarizability based on the polarization and the polarizability okay now the polarization it is occurred in the molecule like a permanent permanent effects these are the permanent effects now in case of permanent effects we observed in inductive effect mesomeric effect effect that is nothing but hyperconjugation effect in case of polarizability which is observed in presence of the additional reagents only that is the temporary effect so temporary is nothing but in the presence of like additional reagents so that's why it is observed it is only called as a temporary effects here temporary effects are two types one is electromeric effect and another one is inductomeric effect Okay, this is the basic concept of uh, electronic effects in covalent bond, electronic displacement effects in covalent bond. So, today we are dealing with uh, these two effects. I think these three are uh, completed in our previous lectures. Now, here, let us move on to the electromeric and inductomeric effect in this session. Okay, now let's move on to the topic that is electromeric effects. Now, here. electromagnetic effect so simply here it, it it is the movement of electrons from one atom to another atom movement of electrons from one atom to another atom one atom to another atom on the demand of attacking reagent on the demand of attacking reagents attacking reagents so this is simply it is called as electromeric effect it is called as electromeric effect simply let us observe so here it is the a double bond b okay now here itself it cannot uh, polarize it itself it cannot polarize uh, like a uh, polarized into like uh, the cations and the corresponding anions so but in the presence of uh, like any ad additional reagents like h plus or CN minus those type of reagents okay now here in the presence of additional reagents the bonded to electrons will shift it to the only one side of atom only one of the atom not, not the two atoms now bond means two electrons these two electrons will shift it towards the one atom that is the B atom okay now here it becomes a B minus and a plus why because the gaining of those pair of electron which becomes a negative like a carbon let us assume it is carbon it is a carbon ion okay now the lossing of atom it creates the positive center that is nothing but a carbocation okay now here it is the negative the negative will abstract the h plus that is nothing but electrophile so now here it creates the like these type of group okay now here itself it cannot polarize but in the help of with the help of uh, additional reagents with the help of additional reagents it is polarized that's why it is called as a temporary effect it is nothing but a, a temporary effect why because it is performed it is performed in the presence of reagent only in the presence of a reagent only okay simply here it is shown by the it is denoted by e okay now here it is represented by curly arrow it is represented by curly arrows okay now the movement of electrons it is represented by the like these much of curly arrows these much of curly arrows this is the like a electromagnetic effect basic things okay it is the form it is the temporary effect it is also shown by the e represented by the electromagnetic effect now in similarly like a inductive effect mesomeric effect hyperconjugation effect we are also it having the two types of effects that is the plus e effect and minus e effect now let's move on to the those classification
Okay, now let's move on to the like a classification of electromagnetic effect. Now here it is the electromagnetic effect. Simply it is E effect. Now here it is classified into two types. One is the like a plus E effect. Another one is the minus E effect. Plus E effect. Another one is the minus E effect. Okay. Now here it is the atom. Let us assume e, e A to B. It is the multiple bond. It is observed only like in the presence of multiple bonds, not the single bonds. Okay. So that is the major point. It is observed in presence of a multiple bond. That means a saturated, unsaturated compounds only. Okay. Now here A double bond B. In the presence of H plus, in the presence of H plus, the shifting of two electrons towards the more electronegativity atom, simply it is it becomes a negative. The negative will abstract the H plus. Okay, now here the movement, the electrons transfer towards the group, towards the reagent. Okay, now here the point is electron transferred towards the reagent. Okay, now it appears A to B, here it forms the H, now here it lost the electrons. It lost the electron, then it becomes positive. Why? Because the movement of electrons, the shifting of the electron pairs towards the B atom, here it abstract the H plus. That means uh, the movement of electrons towards the reagent, uh, then it is called as a plus E effect. Then it is called as a plus E effect. Very simple. Now, in similarly, here it is the A double bond B. Okay, now here in the presence of C and minus, here A is the plus and B is the minus, then C and minus will attack over the A, then the bonded to two electrons will shift it towards the B. Now here the movement of shifting of electrons, here towards the group or away from the group, definitely it is away from the group, here the shifting of electron takes place away from the group, away from the group, now here it is A, B, C and here it is the minus, here it is the minus, now here electrons, like a transfer, the electrons are transferred to away from the group, transferred away from the reagent, I away from the reagent, this is the simple point. Again, uh, let, we, are, we are assumed whenever it is possible, in the presence of H+, plus, that means uh, in the presence of electrophiles, we observed a plus E effect, in the presence of uh, nucleophiles, we observed this type of effect. Okay, now let's move on to the simple example. Here it is the C double bond C. Here the, in the presence of H plus. Now here it creates the C H over there. Here it is the positive charge. Simple thing. Why? Because the bonded two electrons will shift towards the right side atom or the left side atom. The shifting of electrons also were discussed after the after this like classification. Okay. Now the bonded two electrons will shift towards the right side. Then it becomes a negative. Negative abstract the proton. Then now it creates the new bond. Okay. Now again in case of uh, this type of compounds, here it is the C double bond O. Now it is treated with Cn minus, will attack over there. Now here creates the CO, Cn, CO, Cn. Here it is the like uh, two bonds. Okay, these are uh, these are the examples regarding to the plus E effect and minus E effect. Now the like uh, another points. Direction of shifting of electrons. Direction of shifting of electron pairs. Direction of shifting of electron pairs. Okay, so this is the concept. Okay, one minute. Okay, now here two cases are arised. So when in case of similar similar atoms in multiple bonds, like in double bonds. That means in, in case of multiple bond which is linked with a similar atom. Multiple bond which is linked with similar atom like A, 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 A type. Let us assume here it is the carbon-carbon double bond. Carbon-carbon double bond that is the unsaturated compound. So whenever in the presence of a, like a H plus or anything, any type of reagent, here the like shifting of electrons whether right side or left side, that is the direction. Okay. Now in the presence of a, like a H plus, whatever it may be, the the whatever the reagent. Now here the shifting of electrons either right side or left side, either right side or left side. Whenever in case of two or similar atoms, two or similar atoms, that is the first point. So one first point. Now the second point, if both are similar atom, but the like substituents are different. C double bond C here it is the CH3. Okay, now here it is the CH CH2. So both are the similar atoms that is CC. 
but here substituent one is the hydrogen atom one is the methyl atom but here both are couple of the hydrogen atoms only so that's why substituents are different now in the presence of group H plus okay that is the like a plus C effect observed so now here it is affected based on the inductive effect okay it is dependent based on the inductive effect that means which more stable car carbocation side okay now here the shifting of electrons like this here it creates the CH CH2 here negative which obstruct the proton then it becomes CH3 okay here it is the plus CH3 so the shifting of right side or shifting of left side let us assume here it is the CH here it obstructs the proton now CH2 plus CH3 so among these two which is more stable according to the inductive effect here it is the secondary carbocation here it is the primary carbocation secondary absolutely more stable that's why it dominates the inductive effect so this is the more stable so it gives them this type of uh, like shifting this type of shifting that is the second point now third point in case of a uh, different atom I think it is clear like in case of different atoms, second point, different atoms, C double bond work. So here also it is dependent on the inductive effect only. Inductive, inductive effect is nothing but based on the more electronegative. Carbon and oxygen, which is more electronegative, absolutely oxygen. So the, that's why bonded to two electrons will shift it towards the oxygen atom. Now here it creates the O minus and plus. O minus and plus. Ah. Uh, with uh, options of the like uh, doesn't matter whatever the electrophile either it is a, a plus e effect or minus e effect so the shifting of electrons in multiple ones only discussed here the first thing is like a similar atoms here two cases both are the similar atom with the similar groups then either the side either left side or right side takes place but uh, in case of different different functionalities based on the inductive effect it is uh, electronic pairs are uh, uh, like uh, movemented only it gives the more stable carbocation side okay now in case of different atom based on the electronegativity that is also inductive effect now here in case of electromeric effect and inductive effect so these two are computed so electromeric effect is more great more stable than that of the inductive effect this is the more predominant electromeric effect is more predominant than the inductive effect if it is possible i'll upload the another video on these comparison of all the effects okay now let's move on to the inductive inductomeric effect Now let's move on to the inductomeric effect. Inductomeric effect. Okay, this is also a temporary effect. Now here the main causes. So the presence of a reagent. The presence of a reagent. It increases. It increases the inductive effect it increases the inductive effect that is the thing okay now here it is all already present in the inductive effect but the additional reagent which enhances the inductive effect that is nothing but inductomeric effect okay now here it is also a measured point in the presence of reagent only it is observed that's why it is also a temporary effect it is also a temporary effect temporary effect so let's move on to the single example. So now here, Cl, here it is the NO2, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, now here it is the group. So which is treated with OH minus, that is the base, that is the base. Okay, so before going to the base, now this is the molecule, nitromethane. Okay, nitro group is the minus I effect. It is the minus effect that means it, it pulls the electron cloud towards itself it pulls the electron cloud towards itself so now here it is the negative then carbon atom becomes a positive so those carbon adjacent atoms will become more positive that means uh, like a partially positive partially positive here the presence of minus i group it it pulls the electron cloud towards itself uh, that, uh, that that is the normal thing which is absorbed in the nitromethane now here in the case of uh, the presence of oh minus the presence of oh minus now the pulling of electron cloud towards the carbon atom side of this ch bond the pulling of the electronic cloud towards the these atom side that means the carbon atom side so now here the presence of OH minus which obstructs the proton now the bonded two electrons will pull towards the carbon atom 
will pull towards the carbon atom. That is increased by the minus I effect increased by the reagent. Are you clear? The minus I effect increased by the reagent. Now here it creates the C minus H H N O two. So this is the simple effect. Okay. Now here the presence of uh, the presence of um, O H minus it increases minus I effect. It increases the minus I effect. That is the indeterminate effect. It is very uh, easy effect. I don't want to go for the uh, much more uh, discussion on the, this indeterminate effect. Okay, that's all for this video. This is this is very uh, like a uh, clear cut information regarding to the electrometric and the indeterminate effect. The both are the couple of couple of the effects are temporary effects only. Okay, that's all for this video. I think it is very helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching.